Let me tell you the Jake Paul story and then be on my way. Yeah, what's the Jake Paul story? What does the internet, the hateful internet, think about Jake Paul? I mean, it's divided. It's divided. Like a people like, oh, they want to see him lose. They think he's whatever, this and that. The problem child, right? I like Jake Paul, man. People think I don't like him because of the shit that I said about him getting memed. And like, mm -hmm. I think he's fucking crushing it. Oh, yeah. Logan Paul just, yeah. can I talk about, have you talked about that yet? Yeah, well, I've talked about it. Not, not, well, basically, this is where it was at now. It was like, Logan, I said all the shit that I said to Logan. Like, yeah. you know, you did this for views. This is for views, period. Because you're saying I'm doing lame shit for views. But yeah. you're doing this for views. Yeah. And then I ended it with like, yo, just come fight me in front of my gym. Fuck views, fuck money. I'll just fight you if you really think I'm that lame. Mm -hmm. No response. And then I get Jake saying, we'll pay you to fight this guy. A different guy? Completely different guy who I've never oh, heard of. And then I Googled stupid. and I was like, this is like a crazy UFC that's fighter. Stupid. Right. That was the response was deflection for Logan likes UFC so much. Why not do a wrestling match? I'm not talking about wrestling. I want to do a UFC. Why not fight. do a wrestling match? Oh, you would do UFC? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. what I'd want to do. Okay. But like I don't I'm not interested in fighting for a million dollars. No, a wrestling like, uh UFC fight would be fire. But I get even what you're if saying. I, even if I just did a, I'd fight him for free. Yeah. You know oh, I know saying? you. I know you. And I always tell everybody, like, if you guys saw one time I forgot who it was in the gym, I think it was Bryce Hall. Before I even knew Bryce, he tried wrestling you, but you got mad. Like what you did to Vitaly. Like I was, people but test I, your I was, kindness. But I was nice. I was but when nice. people test your kindness because you're big and kind and you see that. Like when Vitaly did that thing to you. Yeah, but I was nice to And you to had him, to say, bro. hey, little man, sit down. I mean, I hit him, but it was like a, it was like a reluctant. I don't really want to yeah, hit this guy. Hit. But I'm, what I'm saying is you're dangerous. Oh, I, I, know, that, I know that I'll hurt someone. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. What's your uh, weight class? Are you heavyweight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm 260. <laughs> <laughs> so, you uh, gotta ask the Jake way. Paul no. story because we gotta yeah, go. Yeah. We gotta go. This has been an amazing podcast, yeah, by the way. It. Our synergy is always so good together. It's been that way. Thank you you literally like ten years back. Yeah, yeah. Like actually. Yeah. So check so, this out. Yeah. Tell us about Jake. internet hates Jake Paul. Whatever. Let me tell you who Jake Paul is as a person. I'm about to expose the fuck out of him. In a good way, I bet. I don't care. I'm about to expose the fuck. I don't out think of Jake he's Paul. a terrible person, man. I don't care. I'm gonna expose him. Do Can it. I? It's your podcast. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I'm, can I say suicidal on this stream or no? Should I say I was about to end myself? Yeah, whatever you want to say. I was about to end my life. I called Nakisa, Jake Paul's boxing manager. Yeah. He took me to the Tupac exhibition. He really likes me. And I said, brother, my life is over. I gave him the whole spiel. I was crying outside of the gym. I said, it's over. Is there anything you can hire me to do? He goes, I'll look into it. A couple of days later, I get a call. Haven't spoken to this guy in ages. He doesn't know me. I haven't supported him publicly. I get a call from Jake Paul. What's up, Yusuf? How you doing? Not doing good, Jake. The Deji fight really fucked me up. I lost sense of how long ago was this? By so soon after the Deji fight? Yeah. Uh, no, this this call happened. I want to say December. Okay. So this past year. Yeah. Okay. Um, I might got the timelines wrong because I got rejected from I don't know, but um, I got a fart again. Bro, four farts? I swear. Jesus can I do it just Christ. to do four? Oh, my God. Just to do four. Bro, can I do it? At this point, fuck it. You're gross, <laughs> okay. dude. Now I'm going to have to sanitize oh, the fucking couches, bro. Jumps? Yeah. All You're right. a sicko. Go ahead. So Jake Paul calls me. And he said, fuck you. Just kill yourself, pussy. No. He, 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 I, dude, he's, I don't think he's a bad person. He talked to me about his bankruptcy. Yeah. He also talked to me about what he went through after his boxing. He also talked to me about what he went through. We just talked. I said, Jake, and this is a true story. I said, you know what's so crazy about you being on the phone with me right now? He said, what? I said, I did a ketamine infusion about a month ago. Ketamine for depression. Yeah. I go, during my trip, I don't know why, but you just kept pinging in my brain. I swear to God, my mom, you kept pinging in my brain. I kept seeing Jake, Jake, How long Jake, prior to that conversation? A month was before. It? Okay. And I go, and now you're here calling me. He goes, that's the universe, bro. Yeah. Um... I then tell Jake and Jake, I think he I don't know people I don't know how much he really talks about it but I could tell based on stuff that I've seen and people who are around him that he is a lot more tapped into that than most people so much yeah I um, I always want to talk to him about it he goes he goes um a week later he goes I call him and I go um Jake I'm about to off myself I'm done and I was and he goes I know the best therapist <laughs> in LA she's more like a life coach she works at this hospital you have to talk to her. He connects me with her. She FaceTimes me 8 p.m. one day. I'm crying my eyes out telling her my story. You know why I found out? Because we all know what happens to you in life, but a lot of people don't figure out why it happens to you in life. 
Why do you think I did the boxing fight twice even after I got my ass beat so bad the first time I was traumatized from it and embarrassed from the internet? Why do I think you did it? Yeah. Because you haven't learned the lesson yet. My father, I never had a connection with my father growing up. It was always just, hi, how much money are you making? Good. No, I love you. No, how are you? The only way I ever related to my father was sitting down every Saturday and watching boxing pay-per-view and talking boxing to him. I wanted to do a boxing match to make my dad proud of me and me to win so I can raise my hand. The first time my dad saw me fight, he was front row. He saw my nose broken. He doesn't know how to handle stress. He was really angry after the fight at my trainers. Why the fuck didn't you train him better? Why the fuck didn't you stop it after one round? Why'd you let him go four rounds? My dad saw me get my ass beat. This was a chance to make my dad proud. And the therapist helped me understand that. And I start crying, crying, crying. Anyways, I tell her I need to go to a mental health hospital. I can't afford it. On his own. She relays it to Jake on his own. She calls me back and goes, Jake is going to pay for your hospitalization. We don't want you saying anything. He just wants to do it to help you. Jake Paul paid and saved my life when nobody was in my life. Jake fucking Paul yeah. paid for me to go to a mental health hospital and saved my life. Not a single person knew. He didn't ask for a thank you or nothing. It gets even better. We've kept in contact. This week, obviously, I'm going crazy on the internet. On his own, on his fight week, I hadn't texted him in God knows how long. Jake Paul texts me and goes, proud of you, brother. You're doing amazing with through electric emojis. On his own. The guy's a good guy, yeah. a really good guy. He believes in mental health. He believes in giving back. He believes in helping people. He's just misunderstood. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is. Yeah. Man, that's huge. Huge. Lots of respect. And I'm glad I finally got to give him his flowers. Damn. I love that, bro. I gave you two tea. I love that. Yeah. I like that one. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. That's, that's some real shit. And that's, that's the thing. Like, no one, no one fucking... That's the crazy thing about this industry and, like, this all this social shit. Like, people would way rather highlight all the negative shit. It's, oh, you just farted five fucking times <laughs> on my podcast, I could have done ten. If that's you, fucking if insane. You, me you know how many times... You really are a day? sick fuck. I'm sorry. And why I don't know what's crazy... Before this subathon, I swear to God, my number one rule on live streaming was I do not fart in public. That's rude. You probably rip disgusting. ass on your live stream all the time. All the time. I put the camera right next to my butt and I fart. Swear to God. Dude, people probably, there's some people who probably like that too much. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some you know why? Who, For some reason, farting is like the universal laughing language. When you fart, people just laugh. So when I'm in Macy's and there's a woman right in front of me and I put the camera on my butt and I fart, they love it. Bro, I feel like motherfuckers are just like sniffing their fucking screen. How many times have you got pink eye? <laughs> yeah. I wake up with pink eye every day. Yeah. Oh, shit. We have eye drops all we around do. the house. We do. Bro, you guys are fucked. But like, we'll be laying on the couch, like literally like my head here. And <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that's <laughs> six fucking times, dude. I could have done more. Dude, get, why do you have so much gas? Because I haven't been eating good.